Kevin, how are you and the squad feeling going into first day's Scottish Youth Cup final? Uh, aye, all the boys can't wait. Um, buzzing and training, you know. Uh, got the league tied up last week, so this is our sole focus now. Uh, hopefully do the double, but we can't wait. Was it important to maybe get the league sealed and wrapped up ahead of the cup final? Because now that's your sole focus. You don't need to worry about the Motherwell game after this one. Oh, absolutely. It was massive to get uh, the league done before now. Because um, then the Motherwell game isn't as important as it might have been. So, although we can only take one game as it comes, that Motherwell game had always, always been in the back of our mind as well. So, now we don't have to worry about that. We can just concentrate in the Youth Cup final now. How good a season has it been for you personally, first and foremost? Uh, it's been alright, aye. Um, I've played every minute of the Youth Cup game. I've played the majority of the, the league games as well. So I'd like to think I've played a decent part in both the Cup run and winning the league. Of course, also had a loan spell with uh, with Berwick Rangers. Uh, you maybe didn't get as much playing time uh, as you would have liked. Uh, but how did you find the overall experience? Uh, it was good. It's uh, it's important for everybody to go out on loan, uh, especially once in their career and being a centre half. You know, I, I like to try and test myself against uh, older and more experienced strikers. But unfortunately, I didn't get as much game time as I would have liked. But that happens in football, so we just got to try and move on. And then, just again looking at the the achievements of the development squad, uh, how good a season has it been for uh, the team as a collective? Oh, it's been brilliant. You know, we were up the top of the league for the best part of the season. Um, so it was really important for us to really kick on and try and improve on what we done last year. You know, we were in the same position roughly last year, uh, maybe playing catch up. But this year, when you're up the front, the pressure's on you. People are going to try and chase you. But I thought we, we stayed strong and ultimately got the job done in the end. A lot of people obviously talk about the development league being about developing as footballers, do you feel that you've done that as well as obviously winning the title? I I think uh, developing and winning comes hand in hand, to be honest. Um I don't I think it's harder to develop if you're if you're not got that winning mentality. So um that's certainly what the manager wants for everybody at this club is to be able to win games of football as well as being a younger player being able to develop. Uh, so I I think everybody's developing at a, a good rate at the moment. Last season the team uh, came close to winning the league title and got knocked out of the quarterfinals by Celtic in the Youth Cup. What do you feel that the team have maybe learned from last year's experience uh, in the league and in the cup? Oh, I think you've hit the nail on the head to be honest. It was an experience. You know, Some of us probably haven't um, experienced that before, uh, being up that top end in the league and let last stages of the cup. So I think we've learnt for that uh, and we've had to be mentally tougher this year. Uh, and we've definitely improved and that was what our sole focus was to make sure that we improved on both the cup and the league performance last year and so far we've done that. How vital is it for footballers to have that mental capability of knowing that, that they're able to get the job done and dusted because it's all well and good to having all the talent in the world but how important is it to just have that mindset? Oh, It's massively important. Um, at the end of the day, if you if you can't do it when you're when you're at the twenties level, what chance have you got to doing it in massive games at the first team when, you know, maybe you got to Celtic Park and there's sixty thousand people there. You know, you've got to be mentally tough enough to play your own game. And you can have all the talent in the world as you say, but if you're not mentally mentally prepared to do it, then you could be struggling. Do you think that tough mentality is gonna be enough to get the team over the line on first evening? Well, it's a bit of a 50-50 game. Aberdeen are a good side, you know, they've beat us once, we've beat them once, so we've got experience of being under pressure in games, being getting chased in the league, but it'll be a tough game, but fingers crossed. Have you got any friends and family that are making the trip through to Hamden for the game? I am, actually, my, my whole family are going through. Um, it's my mum and dad's wedding, wedding anniversary as well, so I know we brother's birthday, so it's a, it's a busy day for the whole family. Are you going to be hoping that there's uh, extra cause to celebrate, obviously, for your birthday and for your mum and dad as well on their wedding anniversary? Hi, I hope so. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a special day for everybody involved anyway. Um, they'll be as proud as anybody that we're playing at the National Stadium, so fingers crossed I can do it for them as well as the boys in the changing room.